This is Seth from BJJGearJunkie.com. Website coming soon. Be sure to check that out for all the greatest reviews out there on the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu gear. So, first thing we have on the agenda today is the uh, Vulcan Pro Light Series Gi. Okay? This is uh, Vulcan's attempt at a, um, you know, a lightweight competition gi. Um, this one's on loan from a friend, uh, but I've seen him uh, roll in it several times, so I know that this has actually uh, been through, put through its paces, so I have, uh, I have no problem vouching for this gi. So um, let's get right into the points of interest. Let's start with the top. I'll talk about the pants later. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is the weave on this gi, okay? I really like the weave on this gi. It's, uh, it's very similar, it's really soft for one thing, fresh out of the package, um, you know, you're not going to be able to like, stand it up in a corner, it's very soft already, which I personally like. It's almost like somebody took the time to break in your gi before you actually got it, so that's nice. Um, the, the weave on it uh, feels very similar to um, like a Corral uh, MKM, um, you know, one of those competition gis, so it feels, you know, like gi material, kind of a tight um, a tight knit weave to it. It's very light. Um, I don't know the specs on how many pounds it is. Uh, you can probably go to the Vulcan website, check that out. But I do know that when I compared, um, I have uh, an A1 Corral uh, competition light gi, okay? And this is an A3. And when I held them, you know, both the tops in my hands, they felt almost the exact same weight. And this is an A3, and the Corral's an A1, okay? Be sure to check that uh, review out on the Corral. It's going to be coming soon. So this gi is definitely light, and I would almost, I'd almost guess that if this was an A1 and I was comparing A1 to A1, that this, uh, the Vulcan might actually be a little bit ahead um, in, in terms of weight. So um, it's definitely lightweight. It, it uh, comes across as uh, a very soft gi that doesn't take a lot of breaking in because it's already uh, broken in right out of the package. So enough with the uh, weave. Let's talk about the collar. Um, this collar is, uh, surprise, surprise, just about the exact same collar as on the Corral MKMs, okay? Um, you know, I don't, I don't, anybody who's been following Jiu-Jitsu for a long time, I don't think, uh, it's, it's a surprise to anybody. This is kind of, Vulcan's kind of known as the cheaper version of Corrals, okay? So this collar right here um, is almost exactly the same. I don't think it has any rubberized uh, inserts in the collars or anything like that. Um, doesn't feel that way anyways. So that's the collar. Um, let's talk about the stitching. Let's move on to durability. So. Um, as you can see here, this is very similar to the Dragao. Have uh, another piece sewn in here on the edges of the gi. This bottom uh, seam right here, um, it's not reinforced. It's not, it doesn't really seem like it's taped over. It just kind of seems like it's folded up and then stitched across. So the armpits have the, almost the exact same thing as the Dragao. Uh, nice another insert sewn in right there, so you don't have to worry about blowing out the armpits on your gi. Um, along the collar here, it's not reinforced. Some of that, that looks pretty good right there. Um, I think a lot of this, they went with, you know, as durable as possible, but they still wanted to keep the weight down. So I'm not really shocked if things aren't, like, extremely taped up, okay? So, I mean, if you want that, go with a different gi. This is for uh, lightweight. Um, honestly, I think this gi would be perfect for training in the summertime. Um, I think this might be on my list of gis to buy, honestly. So let's take a look at the back now. Boom. All right. So it's a one-piece design. It doesn't have anything running up the, uh, the middle, no seam up the middle of your back. Um, there is no big patch on the back or anything, so you'll have plenty of real estate to put your own patches uh, so you can fly your team flag if you want on the back. Other than that, there's nothing really uh, fancy about this gi. It's kind of, um, it's kind of like uh, about the level of uh, you know, a corral for flashiness. I kind of like this, um, this patch here, the black and the yellow kind of really pop on a blue gi. Uh, it'd probably pop even on a white gi even more. So, uh, patches look cool. So let's move on to the pants. OK, 
Okay. So, same patches on the collar basically running right down the side here. Um, they opted for, I call this, uh, I call this the shoelace uh, design. I'm not really sure why I call it that, but basically it's the same as on the corrals. Um, it's just a, a single piece of um, fabric and they have the one loop system so it's not like the show your rolls where it has a bunch of loops across the front. Um, this is actually real easy to slide through. Um, I know in my other review about the Dragao that was one of my issues is it was uh, hard to fit the, uh, the rope through the loop and this is just perfectly fine. The only gripe I have about this is the same as the corrals. This type of design can really get bunched up in the back here and sometimes you'll have to undo them and, and loop them through again you know with like a clothespin or something like that. Uh, that's really annoying to me. One way that I figured out how to bypass that, uh, of course you can replace this with a you know, clothesline or something else if you want to, but what I do when I throw it in the wash is I will just tie this up before I put it in the wash. Boom, I throw it like that. That way these can't actually go you know, back in your gi pants. So that's just a little tip if you want to do that. Um, the construction on the knees, it is reinforced here. Uh, but I'm not like super, uh, super sold on how durable it is. I have a feeling this is going to be about the same as a corral. Um, just about everybody that I've seen that has uh, a corral, the knees will blow out on them um, around two and a half to three years. Um, my pair blew out around three years. My girlfriend's pair, same thing, they blew out around three years. So just a word of warning, you know, I mean three years for a gi, that's pretty good. Uh, so, it doesn't really bother me, it's just, that's the life you're going to get. I assume that these are going to be the same because they look almost the same exact design, okay? Again, they didn't really go with reinforced taping. Uh, I think it's to keep the weight down. Yep, there. As you can see on the inside, let's see if I can get this good shot for you. You can see this is like the reinforced of the, uh, of the knee pad coming through the other side. So it, it is reinforced, but I just had my doubts, that's all. So that is the uh, Vulcan Pro Light Series. Um, I'm a big fan. I know my friend who owns this gi is a big fan. So if you're looking for a gi and uh, you know summertime's coming up, uh, I would definitely recommend this gi for sure, especially since they're, they're relatively cheap too. Um, I know at the, uh, the Pan Ams this year, almost every other person was wearing a Vulcan. So that kind of says something. So, uh, definitely recommend this gi. Um, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, uh, like us on Facebook, and um, follow us on Twitter at uh, BJJ Gear Junkie. Alright, thank you very much. Stay tuned for more videos.